start a new reading vlog. I got out of night shift this morning. I'm really tired. Not really tired. I just have the brain fog that comes after um, the night shift. Learned something for uni today. Um, I didn't get this far into it like I wanted to but uh, like I said brain fog. I, I can't really concentrate and then I thought it was a good idea to start getting a nine. Let me tell you, this book is fucking complicated. I just understand, don't understand the thing. Um, I feel like, do I even understand English? This is my situation. I started annotating it all, so I will put this away. I will not continue the book today. Um, and maybe I go on the couch now, read a romance book because I think this is something this is something I can manage with my brain for brain but I don't know what to read wait okay I have better than the movies I heard a lot of great things about this book um, by Lynn Painter then I have she gets the girl also great things about this book a defined print I bought this in Munich um, with Lucy she was there last week, here my um, hometown and also here. I didn't talk a lot in this tour of work, I just showed the clips that I found and that was it. Um, but yeah, I have the fine print here and just as you are, it's a really short one. Um, and Simone sent me this, I received this last week and honestly, I'm so excited. Maybe. I you know what I read this. It's really short, so this should be a fast read. <laughs> and I'm really excited, so maybe I'll read this. I start this. yesterday but I got into one chapter of Gideon and Night I stopped reading after that because my brain was lagging and I didn't really thought that I even understand English but it just was the book it was complicated like that afterwards I started reading um, Just As You Are by Camille um, Kellogg this is a workplace romance and it's basically um, Liz Baker works for this whole company, um, for newspaper, um, newspaper, um, the newspaper is um, exclusively about uh, being queer, um, about trans people and LGBTQ plus related stuff, also like sex things and stuff like that. And the uh, newspaper is broken, is there is this close to close. Um, and two investors invest in the whole newspaper and then they decide um, to build it up again. And the two women, and the I am first one, I forgot already her name, but the second one is called Daria. And Daria is still of interest in the book for this, um, especially for this. And everyone hates Daria. And <laughs> I want to talk about it because I'm in, in chapter four, so I'm not fine to the books, a book, but so far I think the way 
the reason why they hate Daria is a pretty dumb one. Um, I mean, obviously, she's not really that nice. Um, she they, um, this talks about that Daria comes into the office for two hours maximum, three times a week, and just don't talk to anyone and just walks around with her notebook and taking notes on what they're using for work and all that stuff. Mm. Okay, that's the, this is not nice. This is an asshole behavior. We don't stand it. We like a poster that's chatting. Mm. But in now in chapter 3, in the end of chapter 3, beginning of chapter 4, they are all mad at Daria because she sent out an email that uh, the company, the newspaper, don't longer provide because they don't longer um, provide disposable mugs and plastic forks. And I was sitting there like this. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? In this newspaper for 20 years, they're using dis uh, disposable mugs and plastic forks for the for the lunch time. Like, are they insane? Didn't they hear about climate crisis? I mean, I would shut this down too. This would be the first thing. Like, use the fucking kitchen. Use a reusable cup like you use at home in normal silverware. Like, I would cut this out immediately. Um, even if they, I don't think they got broken because of that, but it's just so dumb for me why they even had us in the first place. They are working there full time, all day, all long. They should have a dishwasher or at least a, a sink where they can wash their stuff. And please use not. Is what? Is this? Is this a US thing? Do you care that much? Not much for the world that they're using plastic forks and disposable mugs at work for all the time? I. I worked. I work now. Since I was 15, in everywhere I worked, there was always a kitchen with silverware, a dishwasher, a sink, and cups that are reusable, like normal porcelain mugs you have at home. Like, what the hell is so wrong with you? So, um, this was my ick in the book so far, because like I, I understand Daria. I would also be here. But so far the writing is really fun, so... Um, that's amazing. And I started today, because I can't help myself, She Gets a Girl um, via audiobook. I don't know how far I'm to do this. Chapter 6, I think. Okay, I think I'm in chapter 7 or 8 or something like that. And I was shocked. I was fucking shocked. And you think, why you were, why you, why you were shocked? Because they were, they were fresh out of high school. When Alex talking about like um, um, has this big fight with her girlfriend, and this wasn't a right in the first chapter, and he was like, the only friends that you have are pre previous hookups. And I was in the talking about that the uh, girlfriend goes to a tour because with her band, and then she's like, I'm studying college, and in my head when they started talking about this, I I was like, okay, maybe she starts college late. I mean, I'm I'm almost 24 now, and I'm go now to uni, um, main, mainly because I didn't have the chance to do it before, but I have it now, so okay, I'm, I'm, it's never too late to learn something. So I was like, yeah, makes sense. No, they're 18. I don't even want to know what to say because I was like so awkward for me that they're fresh out of high school and they're talking like this the way they did. Because I think it would work so much better if they were older. And then we have Molly and she's this really shy girl who has also no friends. And mainly because of her anxiety. And I think her anxiety um, is really good described. Of how it is to be scared to talk to people, to hide. And I relate to that. I was I was, I was, was like this girl too. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying her perspective. I really dislike Alex. I already know what she has going on in her life, but I still dislike her. Um, it's one point to have trauma, um, and the other point is to be an asshole. These are two different things. But just to say that you are this way because you have this trauma, and be an absolute asshole to everyone else in your life, it's not fair. But it's just to have because you have trauma, it's not an excuse. 
to be an absolute asshole. And Alex is so fun as well to everyone in her life. So yeah, this is, these are three books that I'm currently reading. And see how much I will be reading this week. My pizza's now done. quite a while i um was away the last couple of days um first there was a harry styles concert you saw some clips um before and then i was at home yesterday i got a nose piercing i thought about the a nose piercing since years and i was like i was like oh i i should not get one because i think my nose is too big and then I thought more about this the last two years and then finally I made an appointment. I still don't know. Um, I think it's it's cute. But it's definitely something I need to mm, get used to. And also I don't like the stone. To be honest, I want a ring later but now, it, but now obviously it needs to heal. I was today at a birthday party um, at a 101 year birthday party. So yeah, I don't have really an update. I read more in Just As You Are. I think I will read in this more now. So yeah. <laughs> Hello! Um, time for an update. It's Sunday. I um, should learn something for uni. I have no motivation to do that. At least I should edit a video. Also, no motivation to edit a video. I already transferred the footage, so it should be easy. But yeah, okay. Um, but what I am doing instead is cleaning my apartment. And this is actually quite um, important too in the moment because my apartment looks like absolute shit. Um, yeah, the only thing I need to do still is to mop the floors and clean the bathtub. Otherwise, I think I'm done. I have um, a basket full of laundry um, that is worth, I think, three loads. I don't know how we do it. We are only two people, two people in this house and still. But okay, what I wanted to talk to you is um, first of all, the sun is really blinding, and I, the, it isn't even out, it's cloudy, but I'm still um, blinded, so. I finished Just As You Are by Camille Kellogg. I need to say that I just realized at a really embarrassing moment that this was a Pride and Prejudice retelling. And the fact that I didn't realize this in the first few chapters is really embarrassing because the main character is literally called Liz. The um, love interest is called Daria. We have Jane and Lydia um, and Katie, I think, who are the roommates from Liz and they're named like the sisters. And the best friend from Daria is literally called Bailey. So it was like a big fat sign right in front of my face and I didn't realize it. 
Um, so it also makes sense that Daria is like the grumpy one who doesn't, doesn't really talk but if you know her better you realize she's actually not that of an asshole and this is this um, also like a bit impulsive character like also um, Liz is in Pride and Prejudice. So my thing is I finished this and I gave this three stars. I overall enjoyed the book. So here's my thing. Um, first things first, the the thing why they hated Daria, I understand it. Partly, there are a few things like the the reason what she cut out um, from the budget. It's like I my biggest question was why didn't she? But didn't the newspaper already have this? Um, like I said in the beginning of the vlog, like a dishwasher reusable cups um, and the stuff that you have at home it doesn't really make sense to me okay I don't understand why they didn't already do that so it was not mm, okay um, Liz as a character I think she was sometimes a little bit of annoying especially uh, the whole conversation her in a monologue with that she hates Daria besides that I really enjoyed reading about Liz's journey to I think there was no conclusion in the end but um, the also the inner fight um, of how she wants to dress, how she wants to present herself as a lesbian, if she wants to be more the mask one or the more the femme one, and that she really can't decide which side she's on. This was really interesting to read about. Um, but now let's go to the whole relationship between her and Daria, because the thing is, I asked my boyfriend after I finished this book last night, because my thing is with these enemies to lovers romance books or hate to lovers. Um, because it's not really enemies, like wrong, fantasy enemies. My thing is with that in romance books, there you always read about, especially Liz, a hating Daria, really hating her, um, because she's an asshole. And you have the whole list of reasons, um, and in the beginning she thinks, okay, she's hot. This is the only positive thing that Liz thinks about Daria in one chapter, and suddenly. They are kissing and they're having sex, and I'm like, how did how did we get from I'm hating her to that? Um, honestly, I normally I don't try to judge someone based on what decisions they made, but this is something I judge, and I I just don't get it. And this is, happens to me to me so often in all the romance books I'm reading that have this trope, this hate to love, because the I don't see the way from hate to loving. And then I asked my boyfriend and was like, okay, I'll explain to you the trope. I didn't really need to explain this because in TV series and things like that, it's also there. Um, and I explained this to him, especially what happened in this book. And I asked him the general question, do you think I'm the problem? Like, sorry, here, am I the problem? Or is the trope in the book the problem? And he decided after telling him everything that I'm the problem. And I tell you why. So from far now on, and his ex explanation was really good, and I'm not offended by that at all because it's 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 true. So in from now on, moving forward, if you're seeing this, and I'm telling you this now, what I think about this trope and how I will react to this in real life, um, just have this always in the back of your mind. If I'm criticizing a trope like that, I'm not really liking it because I'm a person. If I don't like someone, I'm done. And I'm not even try to make a friendship or build a relationship with this person. If I really, maybe something happens in their first interaction and they are mean to me or something happens and I generally don't like them and I, I don't care how good looking they are, I generally don't think about this either. Um, uh, this is a whole other conversation that I also had with co-workers, um, but let's just talk about it again. And I don't like them. I'm, I'm done. It's done for me. I'm not trying to build a conversation. I don't text them. I don't talk to them. Um, I just, if they are co-workers, I just try to be nice to them because I need to work with them. But further than that, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's, it's literally done for me. I'm not even... Even if the person tries to make it up to me and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, now I don't care. I don't care if you had a bad day. 
I have bad days too and I tried always to be nice. I'm done with you. you can I hate you now. And then this is why these, these tropes don't work for me because I, I just don't, I just, it, I can't, this is even something I can't comprehend in my mind that people are like out there hating someone and, and then having sex with them. I despise people that I hate. But okay, this is was, was the whole reason this work, book didn't work for me. I think after the 200 page mark, which is almost the end of the book because the book was really short, um, suddenly the whole romance worked for me. So it was not like to the whole book that it didn't work for me, it was just the beginning of their relationship. When Liz tried to um, apologize to Daria because of some things that happened in the book and they tried to build a healthy relationship with each other, also not really like a love relationship, also like a friendship, um, this is when it started working for me and when a second third act breakup point was there, this hit really hard and I was really, um, my heart really felt broken and, and I felt the, the anger in my gut to what happened in the book and I really had a feeling for it. And I wish this was to the whole book and not only to the end of the book. Just based on the last 80 pages, I just wanted to give the book a 4 star. But then I thought about the um, rest of the 200 pages I read before and was like, you know what, no. Just give this a three star. If you like this trope, the hate to romance, hate to love, I, I would genuinely recommend this book to you. But as I explained to you, I'm the problem. I'm the problem, not the book. Um, and the trope definitely doesn't work for me. But um, the, the sad thing is this trope is everywhere because everyone likes it. So I will continue to read it. Because otherwise I just don't have anything to read. So yeah. This is for that and I talked about this 10 minutes and I hope you don't hate me at this point. I promise you, I'm always nice. I try to be nice. And if you don't fuck it up in the first seconds I met you, um, you'll be fine. But also, just to apologize for um, myself for, to you, um, is this, this, this doesn't happen often. Like. Don't worry, it's not that I'm hating every single person that I meet. Um, it's it happened happens twice a year, okay? That things like this happen, but so. And I, don't worry, I don't have any co-worker that I didn't like, I'm just trying to be nice. And what I started reading is On My Rage by Zapata here. And I listened to this as an audiobook because I'm cleaning an apartment. And I got the audiobook because I generally hate physical reading at the moment. I read that, but most of the time I'm just too mm, bored to hold a book in my hand and I'm like, Ugh. So, um, audiobook is it um, or Kindle? Because I think books are too heavy. So, how far I'm into it? Uh -huh. Just. I'm in chapter 20. Let's see. 134. And um, this is what I listened to today, quite cleaning the apartment. I'm um, so far I'm I'm liking it. Um I I can't say more. It's it's a little bit heartbreaking. And I really want to know how it ends up in the end. It is just really contemporary about people's life. Um, I need to mop my clothes and clean my bathtub and then I'm done for the day and edit this, not this video, other video.